Welcome to Faith's first newscast of 2011. Hello, I'm Christine Rasmussen. And I'm Mario Statlander. Today we'll be talking about Faith's snow day, New Year's resolutions, and NIV's executive director at Faith. Here's Brian Shorey on the layer of snow that blanketed Faith right when we came back. I'm Brian Shorey here at Faith Lutheran where it is snowing excessively. Faith students kicked off the new year with a blanket of snow. I always love having snow. I always go sledding at my park, and there's, I was, it was a lot of snow at my house, and it's really, really fun. Two inches of snow covered the valley and the campus here at Faith. Students were very surprised. Yeah, I would have really enjoyed it to like stay, so after school we could um, go and like have a snowball fight with my sister. Even though the snow can be fun, it can also be dangerous. One student had a head injury me to the nurse and then I had to go to the emergency room and get it glued. The snow looks like fun, but it takes a while to clean up for our safety. When it snows two to four inches like it did the other day, it usually takes us between 12 hours and 24 hours to clean everything up. Behind me is all the snow that's left from the amazing snow day we had on Monday. I'm Brian Shorey, signing off. Back to you in the studio. Wasn't that snow day great? Yeah, it sure was. I wish it didn't have to melt so soon. I can't wait to find out what new things are debuting in 2011. Here's Evan reporting on the new interesting inventions of 2011. Hi, I'm Evan Schumacher reporting with FLHS News. And today we're finding out what people are looking forward to in the new year 2011. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, not a lot of new things that are coming out. Some people are looking forward to events, while others may be looking forward to new technology. I'm looking forward to going to college and playing college football. What are you looking forward to in 2011? Well, uh, the new iPad. What people are looking forward to can vary from Hannah Montana CDs to new lacrosse seasons. What are you looking forward to in 2011? Hannah Montana's new album. What are you looking forward to in 2011? I'm looking forward to the new lacrosse season. What are you looking forward to in 2011? I'm looking forward to, like, you know, an amazing year. Um, make some new friends, you know. Maybe we, we just go on and win our basketball tournament, you know, just, just looking for a good time this year. Well, I'm looking forward to the new movies and some cool new technology coming out and some, some cool sports. Oh, well, I was really hoping uh, the Patriots would win the Super Bowl. I'm really looking forward to the soccer season this year. This is Evan Schumacher reporting. Back to you in the studio. I can't believe that all that stuff is coming out this year. Yeah, since the New Year's has just passed, people have been making New Year's resolutions. Here's Amy with New Year's resolutions around faith. It's all over faith they're making New Year's resolutions, but we all know no one ever keeps them. Or do they? Get all my homework done on time. To get good grades. Is to cook more for my family. My New Year's resolution is to spend more time with my family. Did you know? 48% of New Year's resolutions are broken in the first 48 hours. This is Amy Apolitegi, back to you guys. People are really taking an initiative to get active. Yes, they are. Here's Sean with the middle school boys basketball. Faith Lutheran Middle School and B basketball teams are shooting for a great season this year. Players are all excited for beginning a season like this one. I expect for us to go to Valpo and win the championship. Uh, I think we're going to win a lot of games, especially in Portland. You can't forget about the coaches. They are a major part of the team. Coaches are optimistic about the 2011 season. Oh, absolutely. Like I said before, um, we've got a group of guys that are unselfish. Uh, they buy into the defensive philosophy, uh, and their shots are coming around, too. So if we pass the ball and play defense, I know we'll be a good team. Okay. Both teams are looking forward to a great season ahead. Games kick off in the gym this week, so come and support Faith Basketball. For FLTV, I'm Sean Fun. As many of you may know, Mr. Dunning will be leaving for China next year. Here's Shenton on Mr. Dunning's replacement. Dr. Book has accepted the job as Executive Director at Faith Lutheran. He says he was both excited and nervous. 
Honestly, I had two reactions. The first one, I was scared to death because I understand the size of the job, and I also understand the size of the shoes that I have to fill, as Mr. Dunning's done such an incredible job here for so many years in leading uh, Faith Lutheran. But I was also excited because I know that God has great plans for us. He promises uh, that to us in Jeremiah 29, 11, and I'm confident that uh, he can use a simple guy like me to continue to lead this school to greatness. Mr. Dunning says that Dr. Book should just have fun with the job. Uh, to have fun with the job. Uh, there are great students and great parents at Faith, and uh, this is a tremendous opportunity to get to know them on a different level. Dr. Book says he will miss working with the students and teachers, but will enjoy the new challenges in the business side of Faith. Well, it'll be different in that currently as a principal, I spend a lot of time on the academic side of a school, working closely with teachers and with students. And when you're the executive director, you tend to work more on the business side. You work with the money, you work with the budget, uh, you work with uh, those types of things, including donors and trying to raise money for the school. So I'll probably have less contact with faculty and students, which I'll miss uh, greatly, but I'm also looking forward uh, to the new challenges. Hi, I'm by Dr. Buch's office this year, but next year he will be where Mr. Dunning is. For FLTV, I'm Trenta May. And here's Christine with the amazing achievement by the cheer team. The cheer team has been practicing hard, but having fun. Everyone has different opinions whether cheer is a sport or not. Do you think cheer is a sport? I do not. No. Why is that? Because it's not a sport. It's not even a question. Yes, cheerleading is a sport. Cheesy, the cheer choreographer, says the cheer team has come a long way. Where has the cheer team gone from beginning to end? Wow, okay, from beginning was crazy. I mean, I didn't know any of you guys. You were barely hitting the pyramid because, you know, they could barely even do it, but now they're everything solid. How do you think they're going to do? Um, I think they're going to do per very well because if they got some, got some true back flippers, I don't know what you call it. Cheer is considered a sport when you compete, and Faith Lutheran does. <laughs> amazing routine the girls are headed for the nationals in Disneyland classic champion in junior high show cheer novice let's hear it for faith Luke. <laughs> our new edition of the 2011 newscast. We hope you all can tune in next time and get to see what is coming on future newscasts. I'm Christine Rasmussen. And I'm Mario Satlander. 